Welcome back to Flex's How To Series. In this video, we're proud to announce our latest feature release, Recurring Payments. Currently, anyone with FlexPay and a Card Connect Merchant Service account will have access to this feature. To locate the feature, simply log into Flex, click on the Payments icon at the top of your screen, and then locate the Recurring Payments tab in the top right corner. This is the Recurring Payments section of Flex, where a new plan can be created. We can either create a recurring payment within Flex as a standalone plan, or create a plan linked to a payment schedule that has already been created from within your practice management software, in this case, Open Dental. To create a new plan, simply tap New Plan, which will open this window. We want to first start by searching for our patient. In this case, we'll use our FlexPay sample patient. Our next option here is to link this specific payment plan to one that exists within your practice management software. By arrowing down, we will see a display of any existing plans in Open Dental. However, you can select none if you wish to create a standalone plan. We'll want to enter in our total dollar amount, 1738, followed by the number of payments. We'll choose 11. We'll then want to set the frequency for these payments. By arrowing down, we'll see our options displayed for monthly, weekly, first of the month, and annually. We'll then want to select a starting date for this recurring payment plan by tapping our calendar icon and selecting our preferred day. Next, we can add in any desired notes. The last step we have here is assigning a card to the recurring payment. We can accomplish this by either managing the cards on file or using a new card. For this specific patient, by tapping Manage Cards, we can see that there are not any stored cards on file. So we'll go ahead and use a new card. You'll want to confirm that the terminal device displayed matches the device you'd like to use. We can then either capture the card if the card is present, or we can manually capture a card by keying in the card information on your payment terminal device. We'll go ahead and tap capture card. This is going to wake up the terminal device and will either prompt for a sale of 10 cents or zero cents, depending on the device itself. It is important to note that the patient will not see a pending charge and will not be charged. Depending on the device your office is using, you might see a decline message on the device screen. However, what we are looking for here is a successful capture prompt from within Flex. We can then exit out of this pop-up window. You'll notice here the card to use is going to show with the last four digits alongside the expiration date. And if for any reason there were more than one card on file, by using this drop down arrow, we would see those displayed here. Now that we have these parameters, we can go ahead and hit submit. The newly created plan will now show in our search. Here, you will see the date the payment plan was created, our patient's name, the total treatment amount, the amount remaining on the plan, the number of payments, our next payment date, our status of either active or canceled, and the number of times the recurring payment has declined. As stated in the text box above, Flex will check for plans requiring a payment every 30 minutes, and when found, will process the payment automatically and insert the payment into the practice management software. 
If a card says declined, we will reattempt once a day for five consecutive days. At that point, the office will be alerted via email to obtain a new card for that patient. You can update the card we are charging by selecting the plan and tapping edit. From here, we will see that the card being used is the one ending in 5813. Depending on the patient's preference, we can either select a different card if more than one is on file. In this instance, we don't see another card on file, so we'll go ahead and choose to use a new card. Assuming the patient is not present, we'll go ahead and do a manual capture. This will wake up our terminal device and ask us to confirm a $0 amount. We'll then want to key in the 16 or 17 digit card number, followed by the security code or the CVV and the expiration date for that card. We'll then see our successful prompt within Flex and can close out of that window. We will then see our secondary card to use in this dropdown. To manage our cards on file from here, We'll select a card different from the one existing from within our Manage Card section. From here, we can either choose a card and set that as the default or delete a stored card. We can now see that the first payment of 158 has been charged and approved and has a status that has changed from pending to paid. And if we look over into our Open Dental account module, we'll also see that the payment has been posted and is showing the flex recurring payment in the amount of 158 with an authorization number that matches the communications log or flex documents receipts sent via email for each individual transaction alongside the date and timestamp. For an easy overview in Open Dental within the Family Financial Notes, you will see any payment plans that have not only been created, but also those that have been canceled. If for any reason you need to refund a specific transaction from a payment plan, select that payment plan to edit, tap on the payment itself. Flex makes this very simplistic, so with a single tap, we can go ahead and refund that transaction. As an example, we'll go ahead and refund the 158. We will see that that is successful. And if we refresh our Open Dental account module, we will see the return of 158 with a corresponding authorization number. If a patient needed that specific charge added to the following month, we would simply tap on that month's payment, which would provide to us a few options to make changes. We would simply tap change amount and enter in our amount desired, which is 316. After refreshing our payment table, we're going to see a larger dollar amount in flex for our payment plan than what was initially entered. That number is including and reflecting what has been refunded. The remaining payment still indicates the true balance of what we initially set up the payment plan for alongside the number of payments remaining for this plan. If ever a payment due date needed to be changed, tap on a payment within the plan and select Change Due Date. Enter in the new charge date. We'll do the fifth, for instance. We'll then see the option to update the later payments as well to reflect the date of the fifth 
If we did select that toggle, we will then see if we want our additional payments to be set to that frequency of monthly, or we can choose from weekly, the first of the month, or annually. We'll go ahead and select monthly. And you'll see our updated payment table reflected here to the fifth of each month. The icon that you see to the right of any payment plan that is within Flex is an audit trail of anything that has occurred from within that payment plan. So as we can see here, the payment plan was created and by which user and any further activity that has been made on that specific payment plan. Permissions can be adjusted on a per user basis for creating and making changes to a recurring payment plan. Someone with administrator permissions can access the Flex settings. Once in our settings, we'll want to go over to our server tab. From here, we can adjust our user setup to reflect the permissions for recurring payments with this toggle here. For canceling a payment plan, select the appropriate plan from within Flex and cancel this plan entirely. Please note that this cannot be undone and you will receive this prompt each time that you try to cancel a plan. For now, we'll go ahead and select yes that we do wish to continue. And we will now see our updated status of this plan being canceled. Now that we have covered the standalone payment plan setup from within Flex, we will now walk through setting one up and attaching it to a saved payment plan from within your practice management software. Please keep in mind only recurring payments attached to the practice management software where the plan is being managed will be allocated to the procedures within the account module. The new plans created in Flex, not attached to an existing plan in Open Dental, will be entered into the account module and displayed as unallocated payments, just like you would see here. To set up a recurring payment and attach it to a plan already created within Open Dental, we will mimic the steps from creating our first plan. Go ahead and tap New Plan. Start by searching for your patient. And where before we did not link this to a payment plan, instead we would drop this arrow down and select the payment that was initially created within Open Dental for the recurring payment to be associated with. This message will pop up just letting us know that this is something that can only be edited from within your practice management software and cannot be managed from within Flex. Our next option after linking this to a payment plan in Open Dental is attaching a note if desired. We will then need to select which card to use. Because this patient has a card on file, we will leave that card as the one to utilize and tap Submit to create our payment plan. We will now see that our sample FlexPay patient here has a new recurring payment. We can see the charge amount, the remaining amount, the number of payments is stating that it is handled by the practice management software and it does have an active status. If ever someone did try to create a payment plan for a patient and link the recurring payment to a plan within Open Dental, like we see here, you will receive this message display indicating this plan cannot be attached as it is already attached to another recurring payment plan. Now that we have gone over the two ways in which a plan can be created, either from within Flex directly or within Flex by linking it to a payment plan set forth 
from within Open Dental, we'll review our search filters. From our Recurring Payments tab, you can search by first and last name, a minimum date created, and maximum date created. You'll also see toggles here to where you can search for only active payment plans, declined payment plans only, or if both of these are toggled off, we can also see any payment plans that have been canceled. This fully covers how to create a payment plan, link a payment plan created from within Open Dental to a recurring payment plan in Flex, how to edit any of the parameters set forth in the payment plans you've created through Flex, how to cancel payments and payment plans, and also how to search and filter them. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and are enjoying our newest feature release, Recurring Payments.